All right, I'm gonna do my best to help you make this next part as smooth as possible. This causes some confusion for some, all right? So uh, take your pencil, take your triangle that you cut out, all right? And put the little, you know that little symbol? Yeah. Okay. It means an angle. All right. Put that on all three of the, of the angles. Now, I want you to take these three angles and put them all together so that each of these little parts of a circle, like little arcs, right, kind of go together and we get one big arc, okay? Right. Does that make sense? No. <laughs> to do this, to do this, you're going to have to tear your triangle up. Okay? You're going to have to, like, rip that piece off. You can rip this piece off, or you can rip it right here, right? Now we can put all of the angles together, right? Like so, this should come here, or maybe over here, oh, look and pie. right. And oh. add to that, and we when we put all three of them together, like all three of those circly things, those arcs, those curves, go together to make one big angle. Um, yeah. so you want us to come? Huh? You want us to come? I think ripping works better because if you cut it and you get a little confused sometimes with which is the angle. Like if you see a rip there, you don't get confused about that as much. Wow. Now, the thing we're looking at is like similarities. So just like take a quick look to your left and your right and see, you know, does yours look similar in some way to the person next to you? Okay, so just take a look around. No. Take about 13 seconds. Look around. You see similarities there? Similarities. All right. So, oh, I took this one. Shh, I'm talking. I took this one. Right, and I, I kind of took screenshots of all of it and put it together. It looks like that. Okay, so there's that arc, that arc, and that one. Right, and so I get one big angle. That's the, the thing we're looking for there. Yeah. So you see similarities between yours and and other people's in this one? Yeah. Yeah. What similarity is there between everything? All of them are circles. What's that? All of them are arcs. Half circles. Half Even more specific, half, half a circle. Pie. Half a pie, half a circle. Right? Okay. What's going on back there? I'm helping her. She half a pizza. She didn't really get the. It looked fine before. I'm not looking for the shape half a circle, right? But if I were to put all the angles together for my triangle, it could be possible to draw. Oh my gosh. Exactly half a circle across that whole angle, right? Works. That's not a circle. It's almost a circle. It's a half a circle. Uh, you can't make a whole circle. Let's put it another way. I don't know how big this angle is. Okay. Is that like a protractor and a steady hand? And I don't know how big this one is, and I don't know how big this angle is. But how big is this angle? Uh, can you tell me how big that angle is? 180. 1.5? 180. Oh, I got it. 180 degrees? Yeah. You guys familiar with the degrees? Yeah. 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 360 is a full circle. Right? Yeah. 360 full circle, 180 is half a circle. 270. What? 60 no scope. 260 no scope. Okay. Are we done? We're done? Oh, I'll wait. We'll have as much time as you want to make time for. Okay. But here, this is there. I, I borrowed that from another class. Right? So all the angles add up to 180. Does it work for all triangles? If I add up all of the angles, will I always get 180? Yes. Yes. No. 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 Did it work for us, for each of us? Yeah. Everybody yes. had different triangles. Wait, no. Yes. 
<laughs> I walked around, and unless I somehow passed you by, I looked at everybody's, and yes, everybody had this happen. Right? This angle put next to this angle, put next to this angle, made a straight line across 180 degrees. But the problem with that, you know, mathematically speaking, uh, in math, we like to prove things for triangles. How many triangles are there? Three. Not how many kinds, but how many triangles is it possible to make that are different from each other? I don't know, like six. Six? No, I don't know. Divide your six different triangles, and you could draw a seventh different triangle? No. You couldn't? Yeah. I don't. You think you could? Yeah. What makes a triangle different from another triangle? Their angles. Their angles. The angles. The angles are different? Sides. Sides are different? Sides. 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 How big it is? How's the size of it? No, endless. Endless. There's, a, there's an infinite number of triangles that you can draw. So we did not prove this. I think it's great if you're reading because it's nice to read, but let's not read during this class, okay? Because it's part of this class. So what we need to do is show that it's possible to do this for all triangles. Now in math, sometimes we can just show you every different thing and show that it works for all of them. But we can't show it works for all triangles because there's an infinite number of triangles. Okay? But we can do a, a thing. Okay? We'll do a thing in just a second. That everyone accepts could be done for any triangle that you come across. Okay? There's no way that you can think that it, it wouldn't work for some other triangle. Okay? So that's what we're going to do. And I'm, Well, First, let me, let me share this with you. This is why I'm doing all this. It's a video of a person, just some person, that I found on YouTube. She's going to share her thoughts. Her thoughts and feelings. So, I thought that was very interesting. So, first of all, you can see she's just done for a triangle. She made the same thing that you did. Just listen to what she has to say. All you're seeing here, all you're seeing here is what you just did. Okay? And I do not know why they don't tell you this in school, because it makes a lot of sense. It only takes a second, really. And it really helps you understand <clears throat> about the angles of the triangles and how they all fit together. And, you know, this I think this should be taught in schools because it really helped me. And I can't, I can't believe that I didn't know this until sophomore year of college. So I hope you enjoy, and I hope... You didn't know this already, that you understand now, and because I know this really helped me. So, thanks for watching. Although, yeah, what happened? That was a minute Not long. Uh, <laughs> what did she say? She, she said that she didn't learn until sophomore She didn't learn until sophomore year of college. Alexis? Okay, she thinks that teachers should be teaching students this simple thing, the thing that we just did. Okay? Right? Uh, she says things like, it helps you to like, see the relationships between these things. Because here is probably, since she says that she hadn't seen it until her sophomore year of college, okay? that'll happen a lot. Like, so you'll see something at some point and think, oh, why didn't I ever see that? Okay? Here's, here's probably what she was told. Maybe she showed up to class one day. The teacher put up a trunk, Cody could do, or a uh, uh, Cole could do. Yeah. Maybe just hit half a set, just half of them. Cole half just a half set, Cole, oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <coughs> no kidding. Okay. So she showed up to class one day. The teacher said, here's a triangle. And if you add up all of the angles, you get 180. Well, hopefully it's believable. Hopefully the, she trusted her teacher a lot, okay? Uh, but she may not have even fully understood what that meant, okay? When we say add up angles, we essentially mean like put them next to each other and see the number of degrees that we get from all of them, okay? But instead, we're seeing it. The problem with what we've done so far is that it's not fully, like, 
because that's true for all triangles. So we're going to see something for all triangles. Right? This following thing that we do we could, be, could be done for any triangle that you can imagine. Okay? So the first thing we're going to do is we'll take this triangle, we'll copy it, and I'm just going to flip it over. This is, really, this is the kind of thing that we've done before, like areas of stuff. right? Okay? I'm going to rotate it around around this center point of this line right here. Okay? Good? I'm going to rotate a copy of this around like that. That doesn't quite look like them at all. That wasn't very good at that. So by rotating it around the middle part, the, the two long sides should match up perfectly. Agree? Yeah. Give me a thumbs up if you agree with that. Okay. Give me a blank stare if you weren't paying attention and you watched what I just asked. Okay, not too many blank stares. That's good. <laughs> All right. Now I'm going to take this triangle, copy it again, rotate it, but rotate it over the middle part of this, this short side over here. Rotate that. Now, first thing I'll, I'll point out is I rotated the first one 180 degrees. I rotated the second one 180 degrees for a total of 360, right? If I take this and I rotate, or I take anything and I just rotate it 360 degrees, it's right back where it started. Mm -hmm. So this is perfectly in line with that other one. I could have gotten the same thing if I just made a copy and slid this corner over to right there, right? But I didn't. I rotated it because we're sure that this is perfectly in line, that it's, one, it's 360 degree rotation of this, and that this triangle definitely fits right there. Right? That, that if I put one triangle next to the other, that this angle right here, this angle, fits right in between the two. So that rotation that. Well, let's see what we can find out. So since this is perfectly in line with this one, this one fits right in there. Let's see what we can find out. We'll color these angles. Okay, we'll make this one blue. You see the blue angle anywhere else? Mm -hmm. Yes. Where at? In the bottom of yeah, that. Right, right there. I rotated 180 degrees, it was pointing up before, now it's pointing down. And, the top of the and then it's pointing up again. Pointing up again. Magic. All right, you see that three places. Now I'll jump to a uh, red color. I'll make this one red. All right. Blue. Some top right. This guy here? Yeah. Rotated 180 degrees. Yeah, top right. Right top there. Right. Now it's the bottom left. Yeah, bottom left. Ow. Red angle there too. Like the so that red angle's the same as this red angle, same as this red angle. Last one, what? Pink. Pink. Oh, green. 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 Pink. Green. Yeah. Green. 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 No, pink. 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 Black. Pink. pink. Can we see pink? Black. Yeah, we can see pink. Black. White. All right, so this one is pink. Yeah. Black. Okay. What else is pink? Oh, black. This guy here. He only two. The only two left, they're, they're all equal to each other. The important thing, though, is right here. Uh, this black thing that I, I just drew, how big is that angle? 180. And what do we see? We see the pink angle plus the blue angle plus the red angle is 180 degrees. Pink plus blue plus red, 180. Now, this is uh, the thing that I want you to think of. What if this triangle looked differently to start with? Could we still have done all this? Yeah. No. yeah. Is there any triangle we could not have done that with? No. Yes, we could have. Could have done it with any triangle. <coughs> I can always take that triangle, rotate it right there, take another copy, rotate it 180 degrees. We'll get two triangles that are perfectly in line on the same straight line. Right? And that other copy fits right there. Okay? And very similarly to what you just did, Right? You essentially did that with one triangle. You didn't make copies of it, but you took those three angles and you just put them together. 
Yeah. They add up to 180. Let me show you another one. The first thing I have to do, though, is let's take this line and this line. What words could you use to describe the relationship between these two lines? Parallel. Parallel. Right out of the gate. That's what I was looking for. Maybe you could make something else up, but parallel is what I'm looking for. Okay? So two parallel lines, and I draw a line across both of them. That's what we call transversal. Transversal. It just lies with a straight line that lies across both of them. Okay? Let's say I call this angle blue. Do you see blue anywhere else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. No, no. Other side, right? No. How about Cole? Can you give in, in, in detail how to find another blue one? Um, on the bottom, or bottom. right there. Yes. Here? No. Yes. This one. Yeah. 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 Is this one also blue? No. No. Oh, no. It's the no. bottom one. The this one? Yeah. Bottom. Yeah. The very no, bottom. The other side. No, the other side. Is this no. one also blue? The other side. How about this one? Is this one blue? Yes. Okay. So this one's blue, then this one's blue? Why are these two the same? Because it's crisscross. Because it's crisscross? It's hard to believe that they're not the same, right? Yeah. It's one of those things in math that's just almost painfully obvious. Well, okay, so these, let's talk about these real quick. Just real quick. If I take two straight lines, like, kind of like scissors, right? Yeah. And they hinge up the pivot point. If they're two straight lines, then this one and that one, even if I drew this line like more that, still, so that angle and that angle, they're the same. Yeah. All right, tell me about this and that. Is this one blue as well? No. Yes. Who says that it is the same? Who says it's not the same? Marcus. All right. So someone who thinks that it is the same, try and convince everybody who doesn't think it's the same that it is the same. Yeah. We're trying to find somebody to convince us all that this angle yeah. and this angle are the same. Hunter, Hunter's going to tell us. There's two parallel lines, and then the parallel. line through there. And then since that one is on top, that one is not the same as the bottom one because it's the same thing. It's the same line. Never ending. Never ending. Yeah. So key points are, these two lines are parallel to each other. Right? This one's, let's say it's flat, this one is also perfectly flat. Like horizontal and horizontal. Okay? And then we draw this straight line. Right? Okay, let's look at this. Let's see as we draw this straight line to this line here. Right? And we see that this angle is this big. Like the two, these two sides, these two lines are this far spread apart from each other, right? That's the measurement of the angle. As we come down here to this other perfectly horizontal line, does it meet this line at the same angle? Yeah. Who's been converted from not thinking that they're the same to thinking they are the same? No, they're still different. You still think that this angle and this angle are different? Yes, the same, they're the same, they're the same. It's the same line, same two lines. One line Always the same every time. Let's see. How about this angle and this angle right here? Are those the same? No. Okay. No. This angle and this angle are not the same? No. Why are they different? Because. I don't know why they're not, or why they're different. Okay. Here. Let's see. If I take. Oh my gosh. I'm just going to take a picture of this angle here. Okay? I know. Let's put it right on the same page. Here it is, right? Just a perfect copy of this angle. Slide it down. Same? Oh, yeah. Same. Same. 
the same. Yeah, it is the same. Okay? Because think about what this angle consists of. A horizontal line, a horizontal line, mm -hmm. and this line coming in at a slant. Yeah. If we look down here, what do we have? Another That's horizontal right line and the same line coming in at the same slant. Okay? So, these two are the same because they're crisscross, right? Crisscross. These ones are the same because these two lines are parallel, and this is the exact same line coming in at the exact same slant, so it's going to hit any parallel line at the same angle. Okay? And then again, these are crisscross, so they're the same. So this angle, this one, this one, and this one, all equal to each other. And how about if we make this one red? You see a red angle somewhere? Yeah. Crisscross to that one. Okay. Where else? Same on the bottom underneath them. Here are these there. ones. And white hair. Are the same as well. Okay. Do you see it? Do you believe it? We good? Yeah. Everybody's convinced. Yeah. They're the same. Okay, they're the same. All right. Now. Um, I'm going to show you, like I said, another proof. Let's get that out of the way. Now, I'm going to put the point of this triangle right there on that line. Let me show you what we have. We have a line right here and a line right here. Not this line on the notebook paper, but this line that's the bottom of the triangle. Okay. What would you say about this line and this line? Parallel. Parallel. Okay. <coughs> Start labeling these guys with some colors. What's that look like? Blue. Blue. Black. black. Dark blue. Black. That looks black. That one. Orange. Purple. Green. Okay. That's like orange. I see blue. Alright. Do they look different from each other? Yeah. Those angles don't look different colors from each other? No, they're, they're, yeah, they're different, they're different, colors. different colors. Okay, different colors. That's what I was going for. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep drawing this line. Keep drawing it, keep drawing it, keep drawing it, keep drawing it, keep drawing it. Okay. And I'm going to do the same with this side. I'm just going to keep drawing it off into forever. So now we're looking at one, two, three angles. What would you say about this angle right here? It's the same as what? Oh, uh, this one right here. This one? Yeah. Is this one, like this one the same as this one? Yeah. That's what we, we called, starts with a B. Starts with a B. Starts with a B. Starts with a B vertical. Vertical angles? Or vertical angles. Okay. How about this angle? Is it the same as some other angle? Yeah. Which one? The one you have. No, the one not that one. No, the one right there. The above one. Oh, well, this one? Yeah, yeah that one. Right there. The above this one? Yes. No. Oh, the bottom no. one. No. It's under the red line. On the left side. Yeah, it is. Yes. Right here? Yes. Yeah. Yes. 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 It is the same as that one. Is it the same as an angle inside the triangle? No. No? no. Yes. Yeah, because you want to come back out. Yes, right. it is. The bottom left, it is the same. It's the same as this one? Yeah. Now, that's what we were just talking about over here. Like those two green angles are like this blue one and this blue one, right? It's like the sliding of that angle along this line, okay? Or this red one and this red one. Yep. This red one and that red one. Yep. You just slide along that transversal. You see the same, right? This line, this line. I smell like pancakes. This line, this line, are, what are they, to each other? This one, and this one. This line, and this line, are parallel to each other. This line, right, is transversal to both of them. Yes. Cuts across both of them like that, and you can see those two angles are the same. What about that other, that last angle there? Is this angle equal to an angle inside the triangle? Yes, yeah. Which one? The green one, bottom right. The green one as well? No, wait, wait, wait. 
orange one. Slide along this transversal. Yes. We got a horizontal line and this transversal. Horizontal line, the same transversal, we have the same angle. Yeah. So, and yet a, another display, another proof. We have orange, right? Orange, plus blue or purple, plus green is. If I drew this as a straight line, right? So what, what angle is that? 180, right? Uh, yeah. So orange plus blue plus green, 180 degrees. Cool. So what we're trying to see there is all of the angles of a triangle, what? All of the angles of a triangle are the same as each other? No. If I take this angle and this angle, and this angle. Half a circle. 180. 180. 180 degrees if I add them all up. Yeah. 180 degrees if I add them all up. We can put that in words. The sum of the interior, that just means the angles that are inside the triangle. Yeah. Allie and Colby, are you? Me? Change your Yeah, some of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. degrees. So there it is, is a picture. Here it is in words. Okay. We're going to be learning some algebra, so I want you to show me an algebra. <laughs> if we call this angle x, this one y, and this one Z. Now, you guys know what algebra is? No, I don't know. Okay. Algebra is a simple thing. It's not math. It's not what it is. It's a part of math. Algebra is simply using letters to represent numbers. Each of these three letters represents a number, right? A number of degrees, a number of degrees. And a number of degrees. So yeah. show me that using algebra, meaning use these letters in an equation with math symbols and stuff, and show me that. Show me what Hallie just said. Okay? And you can put them all together and get what? 180. Show me that. 180 degrees. Go for it. Write an equation that tells me just that. Exactly what you just said. Write it three. I don't know how to do that. So X, Y, and Z, the thing that I'm trying to help you understand and grasp is that X, Y, and Z, they're not specific numbers. I don't want you to plug specific numbers in for them. Okay? I don't know what they are individually, but I do know that if I take all three of them, add them up, how do I show that I'm adding up these three numbers? Add them all off. Oh, that's how I would show it with a picture. How would I show it with math and symbols and algebra? I don't know. Oh, lines. No. <laughs> Marcus? X plus Y plus 3 equals 180. That? You didn't say it. You didn't say it. You didn't say X plus something. That's all I was looking for. Right. So, now we, we set it with uh, pieces of paper that we cut into pieces. We, I showed up here with copies and rotating and all that stuff. I showed it again with parallel lines and transversals and colored angles and all that kind of stuff. I showed you what it looks like when the three angles line up right next to each other. Now with algebra, okay, this is algebra using an equation with symbols and letters I show something that's true, something that's equal to something else. Don't know what X, Y, and Z are, but once I hey! did find them out, and I plugged them in for X, Y, and Z, would this equation be true? Yes. Should be. We showed it three different times. We showed it with scraps of paper. We showed it up here with the copies, of rotating twice, right? And the parallel lines of transversals. 
We showed it three different ways that this is true. Kelly and Cole, please. Yes, Jaden. Is that two? That's, that's a degree symbol. My pen was in the way, so it's kind of true. No, not the Z. Oh, wait, what? I'm going to say something. The degree symbol. Yeah, that was just. I was wondering, I wasn't criticizing you. No, I, I appreciate it. X plus Y plus Z. Now this next part is all we have, okay? So, if you get it done, then great, then you're done. You don't have any homework. But I want you to pay close attention, because I'm not just asking you to figure something out, okay? I'm not looking for just a number answer, oh, X is whatever, okay? So now what I'm looking for, Make clear that that's not all I'm looking for. I'm looking for something like this, an equation. Okay. So I want you to write an equation that you can manipulate to find the answer. I want an equation first, and then you can tell me the answer. All right. Here, what I'm talking about, there's, they're unrelated to each other. They're just three different triangles. Oh, that's okay. easy. Oh, I remember. I want you to write an equation, right? Involving x, oh. that equation should just be true. In the previous page, you should make it pretty clear what you're supposed to do. Okay, I do want to know what x is. I do want to know what y is and what z is. Okay? But I want you to write equations for each of these. So write an equation that involves z for this one. Write an equation that involves x for this one. Write an equation for z that involves this this triangle here. Okay? Write those equations. Tell me what X is, tell me what Y is, tell me what Z is. That's what I want. Okay. 